What is going on, Beyond the Uniform listeners? This is Justin Nasiri with a sneak peek of April. I am so excited about our lineup. Um, I will walk you through it in a second, but uh, we are already a third of the way through 2019, which is just wild and um, so, 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 so grateful for the team I've got helping me all volunteer at beyondtheuniform.org. Um, Steve Bain has been a beast, an absolute monster, lining up incredible guests. I walk away from these conversations so energized and um, have him to thank for making them happen. Uh, Kathleen Dillon rocking out all of our text transcripts. Andrew Woolridge figuring out our data. Rick Healy doing all of our uh, social media and ramping that up. Michael Cummings doing all of our digital design work. So very, very appreciative of their help and very, very grateful for all of you listening and for all of the support you have provided telling your friends about the show and, and listening to us and keeping this going. Um, before I dive in to the episode rundown, today is a special day because on uh, today, March 30th, we are launching Beyond the Uniforms Mastermind program. I promise I will keep this to just one minute because I've been bombard- bombarding you with episodes about this already, uh, but we are now accepting applications. Um, all I will say is that uh, the two things I will say is, is first of all, um, as I've shared before, some of the most profound breakthroughs I've had in my personal and professional career, some of the biggest growths for me as a human being have come from conferences, programs, workshops that I have attended. And um, they always come with a sacrifice of, of setting aside the time and resources to do that. And every single time I walk away stronger, more passionate, and more encouraged. So it's a commitment that I'm continuing to make. I just signed up for a year-long program that's ten over $10,000. That's a men's group program. I'll talk about that on a future episode. Um, it's four weekends. It's two hours a week. It's very, very intense. And I'm doing it because I know that it keeps me at my edge. It keeps me growing and learning. And the second thing that I will say is I would only be offering this. It is a big step for me. This is getting out of my comfort zone, giving this new program. I would only be offering this if I fully believed that I can deliver um, on the promise to help you grow, help you achieve your personal and professional best, and help through this mastermind construct to get you wherever you're going faster through the support of myself and the other members of the mastermind group, providing you with the support, the challenge, the accountability to get where you need to go. So if that is of interest to you, we just opened up today at beyondtheuniform.org slash mastermind dash group. We'll also send it out in the newsletter and, and check that out. But that's the last I'll say about that. So April is an awesome, awesome month. And we are starting off with a bang because on April 1st, it is not an April Fool's joke. We are having uh, Brian Hansen on the show who went from Army Ranger to HBO that's right, Game of Thrones, HBO. He is also a writer and director. It ra- makes me think of um, Hank Hughes, who uh, was nominated for an Academy Award on the show. I'll put that in the show notes for this one. Uh, Brian's a rock star, man. It's just, uh, you know, one, I really love movies and TV. <laughs> TV, And so it was uh, just really insightful to hear what that whole experience is like. But he's just got a great perspective about pursuing your dreams. It's not easy, as you can imagine, making it in Hollywood. And so to hear from someone like Brian, even if that's not something that's of interest to you, I I think that you're going to walk away from that episode fired up for whatever it is that you want to do. Um, On Thursday, let's see, I'm I'm all off here. Sorry, guys and gals. Um, Thursday, April 4th, I talked to a friend and classmate of mine, Brian Olivier. Brian um, has a full-time job. He'll talk briefly about that, but mostly why he's on the show is it's all about crowdfunding. And for the very few of you who might not be familiar with crowdfunding, it is a mechanism of telling people about an idea online and getting them to support you and contribute towards that project or that company or that product or idea or whatever it is. It is a great way 
that is kind of, uh, you know, pre going to investors, professional investors, it's a great way to fund an idea and a project. And Brian talks about his own idea, Glucose, which um, it comes out of his personal need and can help a lot of people. And he talks about what it's like to run a crowdfunding uh, uh, campaign, advice, tactics, everything you need to know on how to do that. Monday, February 8th, in episode 260, I'm talking to Sarah Ford, who went from the Marines to founder of a company called Ranch Road Boots. You may have seen our promotion in our newsletter providing a discount on this product. Um, Sarah is one of the first people I've had on the show. There's very few episodes I have actually with people who produce physical products and very few with fashion and apparel. She is awesome. Uh, You're going to learn a lot from this about entrepreneurship and just a very honest look at what it's like to be in the trenches and to produce your own clothing line essentially is what she's doing. Thursday, April 11th, in episode 261, Robin Brown, she is in Colorado as well over in Grand Junction. She talks about her 13-year journey to her perfect post-service career. I loved this episode. I think you're going to love this too. It's so energizing. Robin's great. She's very candid in what was a long period in the wilderness, wilderness, 13 years trying to find her ideal career. That's a long time. And she did it. And, and, and what I think is even crazier is there's not a lot of people I talk to who find their ideal career, who find something that is deeply fulfilling on a personal and professional level. Uh, Robin did that, Listen to 261 to figure out how she did it and learn from her, but I think you'll be really fired up. That, coincidentally, is also my first episode after my son Bodhi was born, so I think some of my enthusiasm of being back on the air comes through in that episode. Um, On Saturday, April 13th, I wanted to get this episode in, and so I just crammed it in a Saturday. How inconsiderate. But on episode 262, I'm going to be recording my thoughts on men's groups. Um, Quick disclaimer, Obviously, by the name, it's intended for men uh, to be in men's groups, but um, most of the men I know in men's groups are there because of a woman in their life. And so for women uh, listeners, female listeners to be on the uniform, I'm not meaning to exclude you on this. I do think that this is just as applicable to you because many of you are uh, in a relationship with a man or ma- will be in a relationship with a man or will eventually mother uh, a b- boy who will become a man like I am doing right now uh, with my son. And um, men's groups is something I've done just to put in context when I was talking about masterminds groups. I have attended every single Wednesday for the last year from 6.30 in the morning to 8 in the morning. I've attended one men's group and every other Thursday from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. I've attended another men's group. So, and that's been for over a year, year and a half now. And um, if that says anything about um, how important I think this work is, how powerful it is um, to my personal life and professional life. So I'll tell you all about that. I'll also walk you through this year-long program that I just signed up for that is also a form of men's group. So clearly something I'm passionate about and um, excited to share that those thoughts with you all. Um, on Monday, April 15th, in episode 263, I sit down with Chris Musselman and Mike Adams, both of whom work in business development at a company called Palantir. Awesome interview. I just think I'm in the Chris and Mike fan club. I think that they do a great job of just talking about business development and transition. It's just, it's like a hits on everything that you need. In addition to tell you about a great company in the tech space, Palantir, in addition to telling you about um, business development, their advice for um, succeeding in your civilian career is just spot on, super energizing conversation. Episode number 264 with Michael Quinn. Michael's an uh, uh, extraordinary human being. He has been named for two years in a row by LinkedIn, one of the top voices in management and workplace. Um, he has a lot of incredible thoughts on how he has approached social media, how he has cultivated an audience and a following while his day job is that Ernst Young uh, as a senior manager. We don't really touch on that. We touch instead on his work on the side, which is president and CEO of a company called Hire Military. Um, Not only is this a great resource for military veterans, uh, they in short 
do an incredible job of connecting you um, with companies in a way where you gain experience, they gain talent, you gain a potential job. It doesn't cost anyone anything. It's really brilliant. Uh, but it's also what it's like to start a company on the side and to, to kind of keep that going. It's it's a really an enjoyable uh, conversation. Michael is a um, I, I think you'll enjoy his perspective on things. Ton of ton of energy on that one. And then on Monday, April 22nd in episode 265, um, I actually reached out to this guy, Brian Reeves. Uh, This is kind of building off of episode 262's men's group episode. Um, Brian, um, the guy that I'm doing this year-long program with... um, John Wineland, he was on Brian Reeves' podcast that he just started. Brian just started. And um, I got John Wineland's newsletter. I hopped over to Brian Reeves' podcast and listened to it and realized he's an Air Force Academy grad and that he is a prior Air Force officer. And he now does couples therapy and he does a lot of therapy work and counseling and coaching and things like that. Um, But the title of that episode is How to Thrive, Not Survive, which I think is very representative of the the episode. So it is one part talking about his own career path. That is, I haven't had anyone on a show like this, but it's other parts about just operating at your personal best, which you know is a theme with our masterminds groups. It's something I think about a lot. So it's a different episode, but I hope you enjoyed that. I, I loved my conversation with Brian. And if you are active on Instagram and you are seeing new video teasers of each of our episodes, that was an idea that Brian gave me. So I, I got to credit him for that. Um, In episode 266, released on February 25th on Thursday, I talked to Anna Anna Christensen at Hiring Our Heroes, also a fantastic resource for listeners. Um, They essentially help you get your ideal job. So listen to that. Um, Not only do we talk about the organization Hiring Our Heroes, but a lot of lessons she's seen that can help um, listeners in terms of interviewing, resumes, all that good stuff. Um, And then lastly, Monday, uh, April 29th, we're having our 10th and final episode of the month of April 2019. In episode 267, I sit down with Dr. Nick Armstrong. He is at the IVMF. This is the third interview we've done with the IVMF. I love the IVMF. They have so much data, so much research. And he talks about the 25,000 veterans and their family members who have gone through uh, different programs at IVMF and trends that he sees and, and all sorts of great takeaways for anyone who's in the military or who's a military veteran. A ton of great knowledge that Dr. Nick Armstrong is dropping in that episode. I will stop there, even though we've got <laughs> episodes recorded into May already, and they are great. They continue to be great. I'm, I'm biting my tongue on one in particular that I, I just had this week and was just blown away by and just um, uh, giddy to get out there. But let us know what sort of episodes you need. We love feedback. We love interview recommendations. Uh, you can respond to our newsletter, sign up for it on the website, and uh, have a wonderful rest of the weekend. If you are interested, take action. Don't Don't wait. Sign up for the mastermind class. And um, other than that, I will be back on Monday with the first episode of April and a great lineup. Take care.